Well, I, I disagree. I, I think there is no constitutional protection for an umbrella of coverage over the funeral of a military member who has given the ultimate sacrifice. The First Amendment doesn't say you can come terrorize private citizens anywhere, anytime. It says you have a First Amendment right to express yourself, and we hope that uh, that expression takes place, but it's not going to take place in that umbrella of protection around one of these military funerals. And that is why there was a case up in Pennsylvania where the Phelps folks just don't hang out in Kansas, they have a traveling show, and they went there, and they protested at the funeral, and the Marine who had died, his father said, I'm not going to stand for it, and he got a lawyer, he brought a case, he got a judgment against the Phelps, a judgment that I think would go a long way to putting him out of business, and it was overturned on appeal, but the Supreme Court took the place, the, the case, and my office wrote the brief that 48 states joined pointing out that this coverage of protection around the funeral, this umbrella of a short time before and after and a short distance away, is, is what we need. And that experience in leading those constitutional arguments is the experience I got as a practicing judge, the experience I had when I worked for a judge on the Federal Court of Appeals that handled constitutional issues. And I think what's important is when I started as Attorney General, the first thing that hit my plate was that the funeral statute that Senator Schmidt passed, an amendment he put in it, was ruled unconstitutional. And I think when you don't have that experience, and that's what this election is about, is the right legal experience, you make mistakes like that. And that is why we are working hard to make sure those funerals are protected and to balance the constitutional rights. But we won't stand down for anyone on protecting military funerals.